Hey everybody, Saul Marquez with The Outcomes Rocket. Welcome back to the podcast. Today I have the privilege of hosting an incredible leader in healthcare. His name is Tom Clues. He is a managing partner at Natera Ventures and a, a, an expert in venture capital in the healthcare space with a long history of success with, uh, with many, uh, many venture organizations, including Providence Ventures, uh, and, uh, and many others. So, so Tom, I want to welcome you to the podcast. Thanks so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thanks for, thanks for having me. This is awesome. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, I forgot to mention Qualcomm in there. And, and, and so you've done so many interesting things in this space. So what my, is it that drives you to be in healthcare have, and venture? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So, you know, yeah. I've, uh, I've definitely found my, so I started as a healthcare domain expert, uh, academically. So I've, a lot of what I've done is healthcare, but I am a generalist by training. So I do, I do investments in the clean tech and the mobility sectors, but you know what? Healthcare has a special place in my heart. Um, I think it does come from a, uh, once upon a time I was pre-med and it goes back to my motivation for being pre-med. I actually, oh, I wow. felt that, you know, I really want to help people, right? I mean, there's no better way to, uh, to, to directly impact human life than the healthcare industry, right? And there's lots of things I've noticed from the, from the legislation, from an economic perspective, there's a lot, of, a lot of aspects of healthcare that are broken. And I feel that venture capital is a good instrument for impacting that type of change across the entire value chain. That's really great, Tom. Thank you. And you know what? Thank you for that. I, I, um, I miss that, that uh, clean energy and mobility. And hey, you know, uh, on that topic, what, what types of connections are you seeing, you know, in these other industries uh, that could really help us accelerate? Because we need it. Yeah, I was actually talking to a, a colleague of mine uh, who's at another venture firm earlier today, and we were talking about, because he's also healthcare and then a tech investor. Yeah. And we were just talking about how, how many, uh, there's a lot of cross-pollination that we're seeing, a lot of the same issues from a legislation, from an economic perspective, from a business model perspective that you see in the clean tech sector is sort of relevant in healthcare, right? I mean, healthcare is unique in the sense that, you know, reimbursement's a thing and you don't see as much of that in other industries, but you see like, you see flavors of it, right? Yeah. You see scenarios like in solar, for example, where, you know, um, you know, there's a, there's a government subsidy that's partially subsidizing your solar uh, panels on your house, right? So that's a great example of how, a, you know, a health insurance policy might cover some of your, your surgery or your, your electric procedures or your, your primary care. Uh, you see a lot of different, you see a lot of business model flavors and permutation involving pop other industries in healthcare and then vice versa. However, I see more uh, inbound into healthcare. I think mm -hmm. healthcare has become its own separate animal, if you will. And I'm seeing folks from the deep tech side of the equation enter the healthcare space to try to, try to as the impact the kind of change that we've seen in technology, arguably there's more efficiency there. And so, um, so I've seen a lot of folks like from Uber coming to join uh, yeah. companies like Dispatch Health, which are in our portfolio, right? And you see a lot of that, this, that kind of cross-pollination between those two but it's, it's, uh, they're all broke. Everything's broken. We just got to, you know, find uh, the opportunities where technology can, can help fix some of those, uh, some of those components. I've been working with Tom to kick off uh, an amazing podcast. And, and I want to make sure that we highlight the interviews that he's doing in this health tech space. So, so Tom, why don't you tell the listeners a little bit about your podcast and the work that you're doing with that? Sure. I'm, I'm super excited about our lineup here. Um, I've had the privilege of interviewing some, some, some really interesting people, uh, both healthcare and non-healthcare experts. So one notable uh, person that I'm, I'm excited about interviewing here and I've interviewed is Priya Bonnie, the CEO of the Life Corps. Uh, she is your, your perfect example yeah. of what I just discussed. Uh, you know, she was at Amazon for a few years. Uh, Consumer Electronics was her, her cup of tea. And uh, she entered the healthcare space with a, you know, fresh set of eyes, right? And so she spent a decade at Intel and uh, her perspective, her interview, I think is really, it's notable in the sense that it unpacks some of those themes. Um, I've got interviews set up with folks like Mark Prather, 
really excited about Mark's perspective. I think, I think all the listeners will appreciate it. He is a healthcare services entrepreneur through and through. Uh, an ER doctor by training. Uh, you know, love the doctor turned entrepreneur story. I think he, he brings a, a really unique perspective to the equation. And then another notable uh, interview is Bill Reichert, who's a actually a pure journalist, Silicon Valley based DC. Um, in cahoots with folks like Guy Kawasaki. Uh, you know, he's he wrote a book on, you know, Silicon Valley venture capital. And yeah, and we talk about the book a little bit. It's called Getting to Wow. Um, it's on Amazon. It, 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 it's just, I'm so excited about the lineup and very, feel very privileged to have interviewed these folks. Man, some great names there, Tom. And I'm certainly excited for it as well. Folks, um, it's a combination of, of venture meets health tech meets just innovation and entrepreneurship that, that I think everybody's going to enjoy. So we'll link it up in the show notes in today's podcast so you could make sure you, you check that out. Tom, uh, if you had to leave us with a closing thought today, you know, what, what would you leave us with? Oh, man. Um, I'm, I'm terrible at these sort of, uh, these, uh, these, <laughs> these, these visionary thoughtful comments. I, you know, what I, what I would say is just, you know, keep it real. You know, if you're an entrepreneur out there, keep it real. Uh, there's good VCs, there's, there's bad VCs and, and, you know, just keep, fighting the good fight, uh, stick with, with your business, have the passion for what you're doing. And, uh, you know, the right VC will come along, right? Uh, venture capital and entrepreneurship, you know, matchmaking is an art and it takes time, right? But, but don't give up the hope, keep, keep fighting the good fight. And if you're a VC, uh, you know, be respectful, you know, entrepreneurs are, we're big fans of, of being respectful to our entrepreneurs. These are folks who committed 110% of their time to their, to their art, to their business. And it's important to, to be thoughtful, listen carefully and be respectful. So I, I, I'm a big believer in people just being really nice to each other in this industry. Unfortunately, I have the great privilege of surrounding myself with some great people. Man, that's awesome, Tom. Really appreciate those calls to action. And for anybody that wants to follow you, learn more, obviously there's LinkedIn, but where else could they reach out to you? Uh, LinkedIn is probably the best place to, to get a hold of me, honestly. That's, uh, you know, I've got uh, Thomas K is the, uh, I think my last name is private. I should change that. But for now, you're finding me as Thomas K. If you type in Thomas K plus Natera, you'll, 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 you'll find me, no problem. Amazing. And I, I try to be responsive. Uh, I do get a lot of even, but I, uh, you know, at, at once upon a time, I always enjoyed the occasional cold email and always enjoyed when somebody responds back to me. So. I try to do that as quickly as yeah, possible, there. but uh, yes. that's the best place to reach me. Love it, Tom. Well, hey, thank you so much for that. And folks, a couple notes for you on, on the venture side from Tom. Make sure you check out his podcast. Follow him and the work that he's doing at Natera Ventures because it's definitely, he's, he's somebody you want to keep on your radar. Tom, thanks for being with us. Of course. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Take care, Saul. All the great work. You too, Tom.